A 36-year-old man is admitted to the emergency unit of the Albert Schweitzer Hospital in Dordrecht in the Netherlands with severe pains in the chest area. A heart attack is suspected. An ECG is immediately carried out and a blood sample for emergency diagnosis is taken and brought to the laboratory. In the laboratory, Increased values for the biomarkers troponin T and creatine kinase are measured and in agreement with the distinctive features in the ECG, an acute myocardial infarction is diagnosed. When a myocardial infarction is suspected, the differential blood count is also determined during usual laboratory diagnostics. Due to a very low white blood cell count, the hematological validation rules induce an automated smear. This is examined by means of digital morphology. Completely unexpectedly, two blasts are found in the sample. Jürgen, can you even come look? Volgens mij zijn het. Hij geeft in ieder geval twee blasten. Yeah. So the DM96 detected only two blast cells in the leukopenic sample of this patient. What we did is we tried to confirm the presence of these two blast cells, and it took us 20 minutes to detect them. This case nicely illustrates the 100% sensitivity in blast cell detection of digital morphology. And the two blast cells that we saw contained our rods. And this is quite specific for an acute promyelocytic leukemia, which raises the possibility that the acute myocard infarct is secondary to the leukemia. And that is uh, very important to, um, to establish and to get in contact with the attending physician. In the meantime, however, the patient has been transferred from Dordrecht to the Erasmus Medical Center, Rotterdam, where he's being initially treated in the cardiological unit. Jürgen Riedel contacts Dr. Kirsten van Lorm from the Special Hematology Unit and sends her an email with the image of the blasts. Hey, hello Jürgen, how goes it? She informs the hematology unit and a bone marrow biopsy is immediately performed on the patient. Indeed, 59% hypergranular promyelocytes, partly bilobulated, are found in the smear of the sample, reinforcing the suspicion of acute promyelocytic leukemia. The final confirmation is gained by means of a cytogenetic examination and the detection of the characteristic chromosomal translocation. The patient is transferred to the hematology unit where therapy is started immediately. We immediately went to the uh, cardiac care unit to talk with this patient, see how his condition was and to uh, start the diagnostic process. Um, of course for this patient this was dramatic because we had to tell him not only that he had myocardial infarction but also that we had a suspicion of acute leukemia. This kind of uh, acute leukemia differs from the other kind of leukemias because the prognosis, if you treat these patients, is excellent, but you have to be very, very fast because else you have a high probability uh, that the patient is dying of complications and the complications are bleeding problems or coagulation, thrombo thrombotic complications. Finally, at this moment, he is treated in the outpatient clinic with also combined modality treatment and his uh, prognosis is, is excellent. The first uh, response uh, examination that we did showed that the leukemia was almost not traceable. So I guess we can cure this patient. Two factors were crucial for the best possible outcome in this patient's case. Despite a low white blood cell count, two blasts were found in the cardiac patient thanks to the automated solution in routine hematology. On top of that, the communication and cooperation between laboratory and clinic worked perfectly, even across various institutions.